2016 Scion IA. This is not a Toyota. This car is not a Toyota. It's a Mazda 2, and it didn't really fit in because it had the RS. Oh, look, a Mazda 2. Why on earth did Toyota snag some Mazdas and pass them off on their own? Well, Toyota has been pulling a train with Subaru and Mazda, and Toyota, tired of caboosing for General Motors for their Chevy Prism and Pontiac Vive, wanted their own little baby bear, and now they have one. They got a Mazda 2 and called it a Scion IA. But why? I'll have to think about it, but first, let's look at this car as it is. As I go through this review, I'm going to sometimes call it a Scion IA and sometimes call it a Mazda 2, so just bear with me. This is the quietest internal combustion engine I've ever commanded. It's so quiet, what you really hear when it's running is the injectors. They're the loudest thing, the little tick, 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 tick of them going. That's what you hear. And it is slow. Very slow. But that's the point. It makes 101 crank horsepower at 6,000 RPM, and it makes two pound feet of torque at 4,000 RPM. It has a six speed manual with, and this is a nice touch, with hill assist. It does zero to 60 in nine seconds, so okay, that's under 10. And it will do a quarter mile at 87 miles per hour, but it takes longer than a basics haul video. You can get sat nav, it is optional, but no one offers it. Ted told me that the way you get sat-nav on this is through an SD card that goes in, but no dealers have it. There are some shady BitTorrent sites that will give you the Mazda 2 sat-nav program, but oh, that's shady. No radio controls on the dash, and this touchscreen won't operate unless you're parked and in neutral. So everything is controlled by this knockoff BMW iDrive joy knob. Oh, by the way, this is the same screen that, it looks like it folds down, but it doesn't. This is the same screen that's on the new Miata. But why did Toyota do this? Why did they buy the rights and rebrand a Mazda 2? Well, for one, the United States never got the Mazda 2 sedan. We only got the hatchback, so uh, this is JDM? When Toyota captured a Mazda 2 and brought it over here as a Scion IA, it had no place in the lineup because they already had the Yaris. And oh, by the way, in 2017, this is going to be called a Toyota IA. Why? Because millennials don't have cash. Yeah. Scion was a failure. The whole point of Scion is it was supposed to be an attractive youth brand, but young people don't have cash to buy new cars. So what's the point of taking an economy car, putting some extra LED lights on the inside, and calling it fun? They got it right with the FRS and Subaru BRZ. That was correct. That is a fun car, although it's still far too expensive for the new generation. Right. Okay, you do get a rear-wheel drive 200 horsepower sports car for about $26,000, and that's okay by today's standards, but how are you going to justify that with all the student loan debt you already have? Now, the IA makes more sense. The Scion IA is $15,000, well, maybe about $15,700 for a manual transmission base model. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. It gets 33 miles per gallon city, 42 highway, and yes, it makes 101 to maybe some people say it makes most, well, oh, 106 maybe, right. The whole point of this thing is to be a four-door car, tiny, and it sips, sips, sips gas, and you got six speeds to play with. And it's about 2,400 pounds. All right. Is it fun to drive? Hell no. <laughs> no, no. This thing is a modern-day Plymouth Horizon. You don't really care how this drives. This is a direct injection gasoline motor that's supposed to be as efficient as it can be cheap. And that's all it does. The upside is that the interior is very well laid out. You can appreciate the aesthetic. Zip disks are the future. The future. The future. The future. The future. 
of having a clean interior view. But oh, now I'm getting angry because you know what just happened? The Yaris is gone. The Yaris is gone. This is the new small car. Toyota discontinued the Yaris, and by extension the Echo, and by extension the 10 years of happy memories I had with that car. Eat gross dicks. I mean big gnarly schlongs with chore boy pubes that even bears would look at and say, Ew, dude, walk that cock to the bathroom and get the body groom on it. At least two passes, please. So, this is Toyota's new tiny car, and it is unmoddable and nearly irredeemable from a performance standpoint. But you think Toyota could develop their own small car. That's what they do. Are they so busy with other products? Are they just masturbating over the RAV4 now, which has become a Ford Explorer, by the way, that they can't bother to make small cars anymore? Be careful, Toyota, because that's the mistake Chrysler made. I'm watching you. So, the Scion IA, or the future Toyota IA, will become their entry-level compact car in the same way that General Motors had the Chevy Aveo. The people who will be buying the Toyota IA are not going to care that it's a Mazda 2. They're only going to care that this is a $15,000 brand new car that's going to give them no problems. And it is going to give them no problems. But I appreciate the motor for being completely quiet. And I appreciate that you can get a six-speed manual with a very small, efficient motor. And if I didn't have the need for my daily to also be my camera car, well, I could legitimately see myself driving one of these things. But all of this is a testament to Mazda not Toyota. And another thing. Nature. Ugh. The Scion, well it crashed and burned Cause it cost more than the millennials earned But Zipdis are the future Oh, the story of Scion IA Is a tale of woe and a manual base Hit the brake, 